Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we're taking a look at an amazing launcher for the Surface Duo 2. This is a launcher I reviewed on the Surface Duo 1 and also the Galaxy Fold 3. The reason why is because I still, till this day, love this launcher as my number one launcher possible. Now this is of course called Launcher 10. If you did just pick up the Surface Duo 2, Definitely go ahead and install this launcher because it actually works better on the Surface Duo 2 than it did the Surface Duo 1. The main reason why is because of that 90 hertz refresh rate and also the lack of bezels. The lack of bezels actually makes it so you can see more screen real estate and actually see and more tiles on your screen at one time. So pretty much if you are new, here is what Launcher 10 looks like. It pretty much makes your phone look like what would be a Windows phone. So yes, I know Windows phone back in 2015, been a little bit of time since we've seen a Windows phone. But with that being said, it's just so convenient, so much features added to this. So starting off right away, any application you want to, you can actually add to your home screen by just going ahead and clicking on it. And then say, for example, you hold on to that icon. You guys can see right there, it says unpin from start. That is going to be able to let you have the ability to add it to your actual home screen. So you can download an application, pin it right to your home screen and always have it at your fingertips at all times. Other than that though, you can also resize different applications. So if I go ahead and click on that and I click on edit, just like that, you guys can see I can change the width and also the height of that application. So if I wanna go ahead and make this application frequency big, frequency tall, you guys can see I can change it. And without any hassle, I click on apply. And now the Xbox icon is literally taking up my whole entire display, right? So just like that, bam. And I honestly will say again and again, I absolutely love this whole entire interface i love this installer because of how fluent it actually works with the surface duo 2. so if you go ahead and hold on to the screen though there are different things you can do like add a different widgets so i click on widgets right here now sadly the things do not actually pop up like they really should um on a normal launcher like the actual pictures they do on the surface duo 1 but they do not on the surface duo 2 which is actually really really weird so you guys can see it all have news icon. I can go ahead and click on news. So it's like this. Let me click on it. Uh, create and bam. Now I have my whole entire news thing all ready to go on my screen anytime. Again, like I said before, I can resize this. I can go ahead and make this smaller, make this bigger, depending on what I want to do, which is really, really cool. And again, like I said, the cool thing about this is you can customize this so freaking much. Like there is no actual limit to actually customizing it. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and spend money on this application. And I believe it's a total of like $6. You can actually get no ads and also live tiles. So what are live tiles? So if I go ahead and click on any of these applications and I go ahead and edit them, let me go ahead and do that. And I go ahead and edit them. The very bottom here, and by the way, this is how much customized you can do. You can change the color of these applications. You can even install different, as you guys can see, you can have different icons for each application. It is so customizable. You can go all the way down here though and actually change this right here. So you guys can see you can actually allow certain live tiles like live clock, live photos, live calendar. So in, for example, if you want to go ahead and just unlock your phone and have your calendar have live events going on, you can do that without any hassle at all. Same concept when it comes to your uh, clock, you can actually have the you know clock ticking away on your phone in case you just want to have an analog clock in the background, which is really, really cool. So if you go ahead and select all of these, we can now have live tiles. Like I said before, it's, I think it's $6 total, but now you guys can see we have live tiles on our interface, which is really cool. So you go ahead and scroll to the right hand side. This is where you get all your applications. So all your applications are just right there at your fingertips at all times. Now, the one thing I will say I don't like too, too much about this is that when you use it in tablet mode, you do have one screen, which is just simple your applications and the other screen is your whole entire interface. I don't have an issue with it too much, but it's not my cup of tea. Whenever I've used this, I've always been like, I don't know how I feel about the one whole entire screen being, you know, my applications. Now on the Galaxy Fold 3, it's a lot better. It doesn't do this, but obviously with this being two separate displays, technically that's why it is oriented like this. Which, like I said before, it's not a big deal in my personal opinion, but it is something that kind of, if I looking back, I don't know how they would change this, but it is something that is definitely there. So, like, like I said before, guys, 
tell me down below your thoughts and opinions of this actual uh installer i will say this is probably the most popular installer for any foldable phone and honestly a lot of different android phones i think a lot of people have commented down below and told me that they actually have this on the galaxy s21 they have this on all types of phones so again like i said i know it's not just for the surface duo but it's definitely one of those surface duo applications and solvers where when you look at it, you're like okay this actually works so fluently with this actual device especially with how it actually um how it orients with the screen so if we go ahead and make this vertical though all right so i had to restart my device but now it actually does work perfectly fine so like i said before this is exactly what it looked like in vertical mode and it works very fluently in vertical mode too um i don't know how many launchers i actually personally use in vertical mode i was kind of thinking back on my channel how many launchers i reviewed there are some launchers that simply only work in vertical mode and no other mode possible right and you guys can see right there the live tie with the photos right here uh works very uh nicely in the one note but i don't think i with all the uh things i have actually reviewed yes there's a lot of there's a lot of launchers that do only one in vertical mode i don't know how many i like in actual just vertical mode like i said before i like using my device horizontally i know some people like to use it vertically i personally like to use it horizontally if i go ahead and use it like this i mean it's not bad in my opinion i just don't really i'm not a hundred percent a fan of that always i'm more of a fan of using it like again like i said before like horizontally like this but if you do use it in vertical mode it's the same concept when it comes to using the applications you just scroll to the right hand side scroll down scroll up so again guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions i know a lot of people watching this video already love launcher 10 but i just wanted to show how it works on the surface duo 2 is it better is it worse and it actually is a lot better especially with the 90 hertz refresh rate so tell me down below your thoughts